and we have our biceps and our triceps. Uh, they work to flex and then extend the elbow joint. But when you think about spiders, they have flexor muscles that will bring their joints uh, and appendages in towards the body, but they don't have extensors. And instead, they do that with hydraulic pressure that they generate uh, inside of the main cavity or chamber of their body. And so because of that, when they die, that's why you see spiders curled up. And that means that we can use hydraulic pressure when we use the spider as the material for our gripper to take advantage of that and extend all of its legs or joints. We use the animal as the material itself. And I guess this concept is not really new because we've already been using like leather um, from animals to make like clothing and shoes and bags and even wool from sheep. And so this is kind of, this is an even more straightforward way. We kind of just take the animal itself and use it as the ma a ready to use material. One of the applications we could see this being used for is micro manipulation and that could include things like microelectronic devices. We're excited about it because it also offers the potential to reduce waste streams. So these grippers, as you might guess, made from these biotic materials are compostable or biodegradable.